All right, the subject of this video, again, it's another H-bridge circuit. It's a TA8050P, which is this device here, which is also there on a heat sink, and a pickaxe uh, 18M2 microcontroller, which is back up here. We've programmed this. Let's zoom in on a few parts so you can see a little better. You have three switches here, forward, reverse, and stop. There is your pickaxe chip. These two LEDs indicate direction. Here is the motor we will be operating. In addition, this small circuit here, which I've used in other videos, is going to give us, through the pulse width modulation in the pickaxe, speed control over the motor. So not only now can I forward and reverse the motor, I can control the speed in either direction. These two LEDs, again, are just polarity indicators. So let's power it up. By the way, if you look further back up the board, there's my speed control. It's a 10K pot. All right, let's see what it does. You can hear the uh, effect of the pulse width modulation on the motor. I can slow it down to a virtual crawl, and it works in either direction. This will work with Arduino, pickaxe, microchip pick, whatever, any place that has two I.O. lines and a pulse width modulation out. Programming is fairly simple. We will take a look at how this differs from another video where I was just forward and reversing at full speed. Again, let it work at a crawl, reverse. Alright, here's your basic schematic to the circuit in the video. Down here is my TA8050 controller, um, H-Bridge controller. There's your motor connection. D1 and D2 go right back to B0, B1. B3, which is my pulse width modulation out, goes through this optocoupler to this TIP120 NPN Darlington. And this is a bypass capacitor. What I'm doing is pulse width modulating the VCC side of the H bridge in order to control the speed. This is my control that determines the pulse width modulation duty cycle. And here's my three switches for forward, reverse, and stop. Stop, forward, reverse, something like that. And a 10 microfarad bypass capacitor. You need that bypass capacitor here and here. Make sure you put them in. That's the schematic. Here's an electrical overview of the TA8050 that's used in these. this demo. It consists of two input pins. Here's your motor connections, a ground, and this goes to your plus uh, VCC. As you can see, it's an, it has an internal H bridge, it has overcurrent detection to shut it down, and here's your control logic and some other over voltage and overcurrent protection. Here is the view again. You have two inputs D, DL1 and DL2, uh, 
And this is right off the spec sheet. It gives you a better idea how this works. Here's your typical electrical connections. You have, uh, of course, your, between your ground and your two input pins will go to whatever microcontroller you're using. These are five volt inputs. They will not work on three. This goes directly to VCC and here's your two motor pin connections. Pretty simple. 